Good evening and welcome to Big Brother's Bit on the Snide. And this week we saw seven new housemates enter the house. Uh, now we don't know a lot about them, we just know their names because Mark's holders. The names are Giraffe, Coffin Dodger, Snake, Cumbucket, Pussy Galore, Tony Blair and Fake. <laughs> and good luck to each and every one of you. I'm James. I'm Lindsay. And here we are bringing you up to date on the last week of Big Brother Britain. Yeah, sorry it's not really in the order as it should be, but hey, get what you're given. I wanted you to read that out in, in an Irish accent. Oh, uh, <laughs> my, my Irish accent's not too good. <laughs> no, mine's not either. But I'm sure we'll have an attempt at it tonight. Um, so let's talk about our... Favourites and non-favourites, because mm. we've had a few changes of heart recently. A uh, what? What, with the newbies going in, uh, basically... So I've got to admit who I like. Basically, James likes uh, Jack Joe. <laughs> 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 what do you like about him? I just like the fact... <laughs> I like a lot of different things about him. I like the fact that he gets... When he gets angry, he makes such an arsehole out of himself. That's true. I like his appearance. Mm. Um, I like... I like the fact that he's an original... I like the fact that um, he's got a tough job ahead of him. I like the fact that he's in a very tight spot now. And uh, loads of things. He just He's just like a legacy housemate. Mm. I think he is better than Jack and Joe. I will gi- I'll give him that. He's the same thing. No, but he's better. He's not... Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he is or not. Um, so who else is on your like? Okay, so here's our likes. I don't like Jack, but our other likes we agree on. Joel... Mark, obviously, and Jade is on our like list. Alright, so what's the like about Joel? Oh, snooty, su- superior, is it, is, stoic. What's, what's the word? His qui- inquisitiveness. <laughs> sure is. <laughs> Nosy cunt. Um, yeah, well, we'll talk about Joel staying later. Oh. Uh, then Mark, obviously... Of course, you know, Mark. He's like, I mean, Mark. He's like Mark. Mar- Mar- <laughs> he, he's a he's a machine. He's a game. He's a game playing machine. I think he's a beautiful thing. We'll we'll definitely talk about him later. Jade, we've noticed, has been getting very little edit lately. Wow. Well, you see her go in the diary room with no pants on as usual, but she's not doing. It. Somebody doesn't know, like me. I know. <laughs> she dropped the baby voice. I know, but I I I miss that. I want that back. That baby voice thing. I didn't realise that baby voice. Loads of people are going crazy about I that know, voice but, she does. But she did say. I know he's going to be up for eviction this week. Boom, Simon and Sam. But little does she know. Boom, they're going to go into the lair, the secret uh, lair. We don't, we don't know that. We don't know that. <sighs> who cares about that? Who, who cares about the lair? So we're not going to talk about everything that's happened in the last week because that would really drag on. Just like Big Brother, I've been so up and down with Big Brother this week. Some days I've really liked it, and other days I've been ashamed. Like I went to my mum's at the weekend, and she was like why are you watching this programme? You're an intelligent young woman. And I felt ashamed of myself. Don't you just like, <laughs> keep it to yourself? No, but then that, that, they were having that date where they were like handcuffed together and my mum was going like, what is this? And it was really <laughs> embarrassing. I oh, know. And then Showbiz was actress in it. My mum was like, why are you watching this programme? And like, I didn't have a good answer. <laughs> but it's like, when I'm at work, I talk to like work people all the time, but mm. I, I, when I talk about Big Brother, like I've got no one to talk to about it. Yeah, that's true. And like, none of my friends like Big Brother. It's like, yeah, what, you what do you to, do? You go to the secret club, don't you, that we're in, and you talk about it in private. Well, our podcast, it's a, yeah, that's not private. it's a private matter. No, Twitter, isn't it? That's a good secret club. <laughs> yeah. Six billion members. Um, so then... Oh yeah, Ugh. oh that's that's rubbish. Mark said, "Fuck your Friday," and Joel said, "It's Monday, mate." I Do think you... didn't Mark, didn't Mark mean uh, <laughs> good luck coming? Oh, evi- maybe. Yeah, come the eviction. Do you think Joel is a good adversary for Mark? Uh yeah, I do actually. Do you think Mark is a really, really nice guy? Mm, no, I wouldn't say that, but he has got some redeeming features. Why does everyone keep going to the diary room or sitting around in groups going, oh, Mark is such a nice guy? Because they're worried they're going to play it over the bloody thing, aren't they? Like, oh, no. Nah. At 6.42, you said, Mark Mark is a handsome cunt. <laughs> Isn't it, basically? Scared. Scared. Oh, yeah, this is what Mark said to Christian. Not you, not your handsome cunt thing, but he said, you're, he's a handsome bastard, but he's insecure. And then Christian said, what does insecure mean? What is an insecure? 
and then someone I think someone oh, explained da- it to Danny yeah. Danny explained it <laughs> and he goes wrong. like <laughs> imagine right say uh-huh. like about my body yeah <laughs> like I'd like if it was a bit bigger oh yeah I'd like then, it then like <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd feel that. better about myself <laughs> and that was his like oh yeah <laughs> that's shame so it's like something I mean, insecurity is like something you feel like bad about <laughs> that so is right pretty 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 spot on there that did happen well done Danny and when Danny was in the diary room I went to my mum look at this idiot I said look at the way he talks and she said he talks perfectly normally <laughs> I thought what <laughs> <laughs> how did this woman give birth to me mind you that, that is that is in Northampton uh, yeah so. that's true that's true Northampton Aaron um, now somebody I think there were some previous nominations we missed we're not going to go into it, obviously but someone nominated Jack for wearing his dressing gown too much oh it was showbiz I always admire someone who's against the dressing gown strategy. <laughs> right. <laughs> but is it a valid nomination? It's, well, he got away with it that time, so... Mm. You're on Big Brother, put some clothes on, put some makeup on, take your slippers off, to, and Harry, put a bra on. Exactly, because you got to have your, your strategy worked out. It's like you got to have your nominations pre-prepared even before you know who it is. Mm-hmm. Like I say, look, I'm going to put... You know what? I'm going to put this person up for eating an apple the other day. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Just wait for someone to eat an apple. There, there's your nomination. More on eating food later. Uh, but Shoba said, it's not all about having fun in here. It's about bleaching the toilets. Is it? Is that what Big Brother is about? Is it about bleaching the toilets? Well, I mean, you know, you've got a lot of people I forget the number mm-hmm. in there and hundreds you can't keep the toilet clean mm. they only get a hoover once a week as Ryland said on Bots the other day what about when it just goes boof <laughs> now that that's the individual's responsibility <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true it is uh, no skidders please but I thought <laughs> Wasn't there something to do about the mm. toilets the other mm. day? Oh, uh, they, it, it's <laughs> spoilerising something else. But how many toilets are there yeah. on Big Brother? I always thought there was one outside. There used to be an outside one. There used one. to be, yeah. Is that back in the day? Am I talking like an yeah, old person? That, yeah, yeah, All right. Yeah. So, but there must be at least two. Mm. There must be two. There's got to be two. Big Brother oh. Canada, they had like a row of cubicles because Kevy Webby was eve- using, having a poo <laughs> and listening to someone strategising on the outside. Oh, I know what you were spoilerising. Joel pissing in the sink. Yes. Right. Okay. right, we might as well just... Oh. So you've mentioned it now, come on. All right. We're only going to make people want to hear about that otherwise. <laughs> now, why did they not show Joel pissing in the sink? He got nominated for it, so it must be true. Otherwise, Look, they would have said that it's, reason's it's, not valid. Say your Joel. Say your Joel. And I mm, say, I nominate yeah. you, Joel, mm. for pissing in the sink the other day. Yeah. What are you going to say? It's a fair cop if I'd done it. Ex- ex- yeah. Or, no, I, didn't, no, I didn't piss yeah, in no the sink. Yeah, no fucking way. How dare you say that about me? So we, we can therefore assume he, did. he definitely he did piss in the did. sink. did. But when... Is it on the app? Why wouldn't you show us that, Ted? I must have sat for about yeah, three was, or four hours of showbiz crying, fake crying, whatever, this week. I've, I watched, I've watched a week of Mark's <laughs> cock, and the other half was his cock in tinfoil. <laughs> Swathed in tinfoil. And I ain't got time to see Joel's little... I want to see his little dinky, for starters, peeing in the sink. Is it offensive to watch someone piss? It's offensive to piss in the sink. It's like when Sandy pissed in the bin that time. Either way, <laughs> it's bad gameplay. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure we'll men- mention more things about toilets later. Um, Showbiz said, I might as well leave. I've got more going on for me on the outside. <laughs> well, I mean, fair point. <laughs> the only good thing, the only good thing Chloe said all week, uh, in a whole week, when Showbiz was crying and she said, and not one tear was shed. That is... That's the most profound and interesting thing she's ever said. So you saying, and ever will say. You're saying Chloe could be a new power, power shaker? That episode where it was just her and showbiz arguing pissed me off. So What a waste of oxygen. What a waste of airtime. There have been a few duff, duff episodes this week, actually. Who, whose side are you going to take out of showbiz and Chloe? You might as well just fucking shoot yourself. You just just go for Clobiz. <laughs> put, him, put him in the final two. Clobiz. It's just like, nah, nah, mate. Ah, now, brother, brother James. Oh, are we on the two data? I <laughs> yeah, love, I on. love a two data. Oh, ask. I love it. Tell me about it. I don't know. I think I was something happened to me. All right. Well, some, some <laughs> I got angry. Some people were 
brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Now the brothers were the, the have been reading the bully books. Yeah. They got to wear the special coat. Oh, like a. It's like the fr- frat like house an American thing. American thing. Yeah. Yeah. When yeah. they do the hazing and all the. They, oh, they, a sexist thing. Yeah. yeah. They rape someone and say, "Oh, they're yeah. welcome to our school or whatever," yeah. but, or something like that. Oh, they flush their head down the loo like. They flush the idol. Da- what? <laughs> Do they like flush their head down? The oh, door? bog wash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, classic. Uh, classic. Yeah. All right. So what the fuck's this got to do so, with anyway, me? So, we, we, <laughs> now we had full and full and frank uh, disclosure here. We don't actually remember who the um, the brothers were, but we know Mark was one of them, and that's all that really matters. And some other people were pledges, and they had to do what they were told. Mark said it's like a concentration camp in here. No, <laughs> he didn't. He said, what are you fucking moaning about? It's not like you're in a fucking concentration camp. Either way, should you be mentioning concentration camps when you're in Big Brother? Hell, yes. That would be a good task, actually. Big Brother's concentration hey, camp. I've seen it on Armageddon last uh, year. Did I? Really? Yeah. Remember no. all those mattresses on the floor? Oh, <laughs> hell on earth it was. <laughs> <laughs> hell, hell and wood on earth. <laughs> I think a bit more went on that in Al Switch, but anyway, uh. um, <laughs> we're moving swiftly right. on. Um, so you said something about when Brother Mark was talking to Joel about something. Oh yeah, so basically, well, apparently one of the rules. I mean, he probably just made it up, but Mark said that when he's addressing one of the pledgers, they must always be beneath his. Uh, height, so they must be like, <laughs> stooped before him. Yeah. So I think he's quite short that mark, but I could be making that up. <laughs> but anyway, he's, he he he, he, t- he turns to Joel and he says, "You get down." <laughs> He goes, you need to be beneath... I can't do that. I can't do the... <laughs> Try outcome. it anyway. You need to be beneath my height. So Joel, <laughs> just completely pan-faced, yeah, just literally just started to drop down to his knees. <laughs> I don't remember this. And honestly, like literally like he was about to give him a blowjob. And Mark went... I can't remember what he said exactly. He went, not like that, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> and did Joel... He, he was like, stop your weird shit with me. <laughs> and then Joel stood up. <laughs> It was fucking TV gold. <laughs> um, I missed that completely. Uh, it was that's, beautiful. That's it was good. beautiful. That's good. That's good. Um, so, yeah, when you read out those lift, list of things, giraffe, coffin, dodger, snake, did you say cum bucket or not? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Who was the cum bucket? Sa- Sam, right? I think so, yeah. yeah. Um, what's better, cum bucket or slut bucket? Why is everything a bucket? Cum bucket, well, it's... Don't, don't ask me that. But, um, uh-huh. Well, uh-huh. you would think cum bucket, right? Mm. Yeah, it's worse or better. What? Uh, but worse. Mm, yeah, it's a worse visual image. <laughs> anyway, after Mark said that to Sam, she said, "I'm so glad he's here. This house would be so boring without him." And then he gets a warning for when he said to her. What's he say? I liked it when you were crying because it made me think of how you look if I was fucking you or something. Yeah. And he gets a warning for that. I'd rather he said that to me than called me a cum bucket. Which would you prefer? I think... <laughs> I, I don't know why they bother A, warning yeah, him exactly. and B, showing it because yeah. it, I feel like I'm being patronised. They've written it into the show. Yeah, exactly. So just, just, just go with it. Like, just take the heat from Ofcom. They just don't want that 300 grand fine off Ofcom or whatever, do they? You can't afford it. I, yeah, they're trying to find line. But this is why I feel, I feel stupid. Because last week, I was saying, oh, he's an actor, blah, blah, blah. But I was actually getting a bit angry about some of the things that he was saying. Yeah. And now I'm just like, why the fuck am I getting angry about that? It's a, it's a script. It's like getting angry about a Spidey or something. I, I, was just, I can't remember if it was something I saw. Oh, I think it might have been Gaz actually said something on Twitter. Hey, Gaz. I, I think it was a conversation he was having with someone else. But, um... Uh, what, Why are you reading what was this it? conversation to other people? I just was. Um, <laughs> and it was something like about uh, the show being scripted. And I think yeah. we are actually entering a point now where Big mm. Brother, essentially, mm. it's not going to be like Towie or the other one, but it, we, we're getting into that territory more and more as mm. time ticks no by. No shit, we've been in that territory for ages. What about the cue cards? Maybe we've always been in it and just not realised. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. So who's the biggest cum bucket? Is it the idiot general public, Ted... Housemates or us for watching this shit? <laughs> uh, it's us, isn't it? Is it? Well, us or idiot general public, same thing, isn't it? I don't know. I thought it was Sam. Oh, Sam. Oh. Sam is. is she, I wouldn't call someone a cum bucket. Well, I might, but. 
Sam is a cunt. 